Hi there, students. It's Professor Watts. I'm sitting here at my kitchen table checking my email, and I've got some people uh, asking me for help on homework three, problem four. And I decided, well, I do have an online video. It's basically the same thing as the class lecture, but I realized I set up the problem a little bit differently in the homework than I did on my lecture. So what I want to do right now is just briefly show you an example that's like what's in the homework. And I'll, I'll briefly just walk through this for you and show you how to solve it. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, is a uh, similar format, but just a slightly different example. This time I've got a 16 ounce loaf of bread and I've got a 1950 price of 14 cents and a 2013 price of 99 cents. And this is again where the old timer says, oh my goodness, price of bread has gone up, what's that, about six times. And the first thing we'll do actually is uh, calculate the percent change for the nominal price. Okay, we need to fill in every blank space in the table. So the percent change for the nominal price. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is our percent change formula, which you'll remember. I'm just going to write this as delta percent. Okay, equals N2, the second number, minus the first number divided by the first number times 100 to put it in percent form. Okay, let's just do that right on the calculator. 99 cents, 0.99, minus 14 cents, 0.14, equals 0.85, divided by 0.14, equals 6.07. Still need to multiply by 100 to put it in percent form. Okay, we've got a 607% increase. I'm just going to write that in here with my snazzy little drawing tablet. Okay. Now, price of bread, nominal price went up 600 some percent. Let's see how much all prices in the economy went up. And how do we know that? Well, in this time, you'll notice I'm using the actual CPI. In the homework, I, get, I simplified, I made up the CPI numbers to make it a little easy for you. But let's see how percentage-wise, how much the CPI went up. Okay, let's clear this out. And again, I'm just going to go straight to the calculator, but this is the formula I'm using. Okay, I'm using this in second number minus the first number divided by the first number times 100. Second number is 229 minus 24, 205 divided by 24, okay, 8.54, still have to multiply by 100. 854%, oh my goodness. Okay. Before we even solve for real prices, we can realize that CPI went up more than nominal price did, okay? meaning overall prices inflated more than the price of bread, okay? which means what? There's overall prices going up 800% and bread's only going up 600%. Relative to the whole, relative to all goods, Bread is lower, okay? The real price of bread has gone down, and that's what we're about to prove when we calculate it out. Okay, so let us let me go in here and let me fill in what we know. The real price, oops, this should say the real price in 2013 terms. I'm sorry for not updating that. The real price in 2013 terms for 2013 is 99 cents. That can drop straight down. That doesn't change because it's already in 2013 terms, isn't it? Make sure you put that dollar sign there. All right, and the real price for 1950, for 1950, is 14 cents. That can drop right down. Okay, we don't need to change anything there. So, halfway done. Now, let's go back and do the 2013 price of the 19 uh, conversion for the 1950 price. Okay, so we're going to take the 1950 price, which is way down here. We want to pump it up to match what happened to overall inflation. Well, what we need to do is to, uh, come up with a CPI factor. What did we need to do to the CPI to get it from 1950 to 2013? It went from 24 to 229. Okay, we're, we want to say, we're saying what needs to happen to the CP, the old 1950 CPI to convert it to the new CPI. That's what happened to overall prices. Well, it's, I'll do this down here. It's 24 times X equals 229. Solve for x, divide by 24, that's 1, that crosses out, divide by 24, x equals 229 divided by 24, 
x equals 9.54. Okay. So we're going to multiply the old 1950 price by 9.54. That's our CPI adjustment factor. Okay, we're, what we're saying here is that the old CPI inflated by a factor of 9.54. So we multiply that factor by the old 1950 price, and that gives us okay, 0.14 times 9.54 dollar 33. 1.33. And now we have an apples to apples prices are, that are in the same price level of 2013 terms. And we see what happened to the real price. It went from $1.33 to 99 cents. It went down. How much? Let's do the percent change calculation really quick. 0.99 minus 1.33, negative 34 cents. Yes, it's a negative number. Divide that by the initial amount, 1.33, okay? Minus 0.25, multiply it by 100. Minus 25.56%. Let's round that up. 25, let's say minus 5.6%. Okay. Almost home free. All we need to do now is calculate the real price in 1950 terms of the 2013 price of 99 cents. This time we're moving the opposite direction. We're saying, to convert that, how, what would we have to do to the overall price level of 229 to put it back down to 1950 terms of 24? Well, here's our adjustment factor. It's now it's 229 times x equals 24. Divide through by 229. x equals 24, 229. x equals, let's solve that. Divide by 229 x equals 0 0.105, let's round. Okay. In other words, it's 10%. In other words, the old price level was about 10.5% of the current price level. So we're going to multiply the old price, the new price, I'm sorry, the new price by 10.5% to get it in terms of the old price level. So let's do that. The new price is 99 cents, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.105, I get 0 0.104. Notice it's about the same as the percentage because I'm basically taking one, 99 is pretty close to $1 and multiplying it by 10.5%. Well, that's 10.5 cents, right? So it's 10.4 because I started with 99 cents. Let's write it like this, dollar sign 0 0.104. Okay, so we went from 14 cents, 1950 price, to a 2013 price in 1950 price level terms of 10 cents, 10.4 cents. Okay. Hey, take a wild guess as to what our percent drop is going to be here. I bet it's going to be about 25.6%. Let's try that out. Okay. So now we're just doing our final box here, which is our percent change for the 1950 prices. 19, and, our percent change for the prices in 1950 terms, it's 0 0.104 minus 0 0.14 minus 0 0.036 divided by 0.14 equals minus 25.7%. Hey, I was right. It's pretty darn close to what we got by converting all prices to 2013 levels, 25.7%. That's correct. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Okay, does the base year matter? No, we get pretty much the same bit, uh, result. It's within one-tenth, okay, 25.25.5% 25 either way, okay, and that shows us that the real price of this good has gone down. By the way, I just looked this up online. This was a real bread price for 1950, and uh, I might pay a little bit more, but I I know I've paid about 99 cents or about a dollar for bread in the past year, so I'm not too far off here, okay. The real price has gone down 25%. Why is that? Again, solo model. What causes growth? Well, it's capital, baby. And in the long run, it's technology. And we've had a big accumulation of both since then. All righty, I hope this helps you with that homework problem. I will see you soon.